Top 10 Places to Visit in Dublin Dublin is a city that's as intimate as a village and as friendly as an Irish pub. The streets are filled with vibrant art and historic buildings, hip cafes, and traditional pubs. Or as the Dubliners call them, old man pubs. Dublin itself is an exciting city where you can find rich history, architecture, and memorable experiences. We're counting down the top 10 places to visit in Dublin. Before we get started, please support our channel by liking and subscribing. Here we go! Number 10. Phoenix Park and the Dublin Zoo Phoenix Park's 1,700 acres features plenty of lush green lawns, shady wooded areas, and cool, clean lakes. Visitors may come face-to-face -face with deer in the park since it used to be the Royal Hunting Park in the 1600s and opened to the public in 1747. The park is open all day, every day, and it's completely free. There are also guided cycling and Segway tours available if you want a professional to take you around. The biggest attraction within the park is the Dublin Zoo. It's one of Europe's oldest zoos and is home to over 400 animals in a variety of habitats. While you're there, make sure you carve out time to visit the Humboldt penguins and Western Lowlands gorillas. Number 9. Glasnevin Cemetery 1.5 million people are faithfully preserved in the Glasnevin Cemetery. It's a beautifully restored Victorian cemetery that features several epic monuments honoring Ireland's past. Many of Ireland's most prominent national figures were laid to rest here, including the grave of Michael Collins, the nationalist leader who was killed in the Irish Civil War in 1922, Daniel O'Connell, nicknamed the Liberator, the acknowledged political leader of Ireland's Roman Catholic majority, and Christy Brown, an Irish writer and painter who had cerebral palsy and was able to write or type only with the toes of one foot. One of the features of the cemetery is the Glasnevin Trust Museum, which also includes a cafe. The cemetery also runs tours, hosts educational groups, and has support for genealogists and those studying family history. Number 8. Irish Museum of Modern Art the Irish Museum of Modern Art, or IMMA, is a dynamic modern art museum nestled on 48 acres of land in the heart of Dublin. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to check out the over 3,500 pieces of artwork in the galleries, browse the gift shop, explore the gardens, and take a break in the cafe. If you're visiting in the summer, you can take part in their IMMA Outdoors program, which features artist commissions, performances, music, talks, workshops, and tours throughout the museum's grounds. Number 7. Trinity College Trinity College is widely considered one of Europe's elite institutions. It's Ireland's most prestigious university, in part due to its long and distinguished history. The school was founded by Queen Elizabeth I in 1592 as the mother of a university. The likes of Oscar Wilde, Bram Stoker, and Samuel Beckett received their education in these walls. Tourists from all over the world come to wonder the historic cobblestone campus and check out the Book of Kells, a prized medieval manuscript housed in the Trinity College Library. The library itself is actually a legal deposit library for Ireland and Great Britain and contains around 7 million printed volumes and significant quantities of manuscripts. Number 6. St. Patrick's and Christ Church Cathedrals Founded in 1191, St. Patrick's Cathedral is currently the National Cathedral of the Church of Ireland. Christ Church Cathedral is also a Church of Ireland Cathedral in Dublin. There's almost no precedent for a two-cathedral city. The rich history and outstanding architecture of these two cathedrals make a visit almost 100% worthwhile. The rich history and beautiful architecture of these two cathedrals make them a must-visit location on our list of places to visit in Dublin. Number 5. Kilmainham Gaul Kilmainham Gaul is a former prison that was active from 1796 to 1924 and is now a museum run by the Office of Public Works. It was notorious in the 19th century for its harsh treatment of prisoners. Among those who were held here were leaders of the rebellions of 1798, 1803, 1848, 1867, and 1916, as well as members of the Irish Republican movement during the War of Independence and Civil War. 
Visitors can tour the eerie, damp cells and explore the prison, rich in history through a number of on-site exhibits. Number 4. Little Museum of Dublin Another museum we've got on our list is the Little Museum of Dublin. Discover the amazing story of Dublin in a 29-minute guided tour of this quirky little museum. You can explore over 5,000 artifacts and all three floors of exhibition space, which include a cafe in the basement. The museum also offers I Love Dublin classes for school children aged 6 to 17. Please note, the museum is quite small and the tours sell out quickly, so you might want to pre-purchase those tickets to make sure you aren't disappointed. Number 3. Epic, the Irish Emigration Museum Our number three choice is Epic, the Irish Emigration Museum, which features ways for visitors to connect with Irish history and culture in 20 interactive galleries. This museum's won Europe's leading tourist attraction at the World Travel Awards in 2019, 2020, and 2021. Visitors who walk through the doors will learn what it truly means to be Irish through stories of Irish immigrants who became scientists, politicians, poets, artists, and even outlaws all over the world. Number 2. Dublin Castle Constructed in the early 13th century on the site of a Viking settlement, Dublin Castle served for centuries as the headquarters of English and later British administration in Ireland. In 1922, after Ireland's independence, the castle was handed over to the new Irish government. It's now a major government complex and a must-see tourist attraction. Some of the highlights of the tour include the ladies' drawing room, the throne room, and St. Patrick's Hall. St. Patrick's Hall is one of the grandest rooms in the castle. It was formerly the ballroom of the Lord Lieutenant's administration, but today it's used for presidential inaugurations. The castle's open seven days a week, including bank holidays, from 9.45 to 5.15. Number 1. The Guinness Storehouse What's a trip to Dublin without beer? Guinness Storehouse is Ireland's number one visitor attraction. Housed in an old fermentation plant in the heart of St. James Gate Brewery, the now seven-story visitor experience tells the story of Ireland's iconic drink. The tour begins at the bottom of the world's largest pint glass, which rises as you make your way up the building. The tour begins over 250 years ago and ends in Gravity Bar, Dublin's highest bar, where you'll get a complimentary pint of Guinness while enjoying the spectacular views of Dublin. Well, that's it for the top 10 places you've absolutely got to visit in Dublin. Are there any places you think should have made it to our list? Let us know in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our other travel videos. Safe travels and thanks for watching.